Hello everyone. My name is Jeff Redman and I am the School Chancellor at Lawrence College. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to warmly welcome all the family and friends and relatives who have made it here today. I would also like to welcome the faculty and staff of Lawrence College to today's commencement. Congratulations to all the graduates. Graduation. It's a big time in our lives. It's a time of reflection and a time of being thankful for what we've achieved. Throughout your last couple years here at Loris College, you've had to undergo many different challenges which you've been successful in completing. And that's not a small feat. You guys have made remarkable strides not only in your educational growth, but also your personal growth. The commitment that you showed is truly impressive. The confidence that you have acquired throughout this journey is second to none. But your journey is not over. This is actually just the launching point. You came to Loris College with a dream. A dream to find a new career and a new path in life. And this is where it gets kind of scary for most people. Because now it's time for you to take those steps on your own. Now, even though you're venturing off into that new adventure, you will have support. The friends and family that stood by you through your time at Loris College are still with you. The connections that you've made at Loris College, whether it be faculty members, directors, or other staff members are still here. And your success is our success. So we will be there to help you along the way. And if you need somebody to help cheer you up, give us a call. That's what we're here for. You guys have a tremendous future ahead of you. We are truly proud to be part of that growth and that success. And it's our job to make sure that you have all the tools necessary. So once again, I want to congratulate everyone here. It is truly a pleasure to see you guys advance throughout your life and take those next steps. Please help me welcome Mr. Eddie Taylor, our keynote speaker. Mr. Taylor is the CEO of the United Way of Northern Santa Barbara County. Through his time there, he has worked to create not only new initiatives for education, but also to expand the economic advancements of the region. He's fantastically dedicated to not only the growth of our community, but also the growth of individuals throughout their time here. So please help me welcome Mr. Eddie Taylor. My name is Eddie Taylor. I'm the CEO of the Regional United Way, and I'm honored to have this moment to acknowledge your accomplishments. Earning your degree marks an exciting time for you, for your family, for Laris College, and for our community. You have invested time and money, indeed your life, in the future of not just your family, but the communities where you will get to choose to live. You get to choose because you made the first choice to get a degree that's needed for a 21st century career. I want to spend a couple of minutes with you considering the dash that all of us have in our lives. You see, you're not done growing because the dash has only just begun. Let me explain. Every life ends with a short essay about the person's life. And the only thing all the essays have in common is the dash between the years. It is that dash that defines who we are and how we will be remembered. Your dash is a work in progress that you get to design. It will be defined by how you live and the choices you make. Consider Emily Harrington. Emily is a very accomplished rock climber. When asked about her recent 3,000 foot ascent of El Capitan, she explained that she never thought she would ever be able to accomplish such a feat. But she says, I chose it exactly for that reason. Impossible dreams challenge us to rise above who we are now, to see if we can become better versions of ourselves. So thank you for challenging yourselves to be better. My role is helping communities become better versions of themselves. But that only happens when individuals like you believe this truth. Few will have the greatness to affect real community change. But when we each do a little to help guide the changes we need, in the end, those acts create better communities. As you go forward in your careers, 
Strive always to be open to change and willing to affect real change in the lives around you. Congratulations again and best wishes for your future. Hello class of 2020. I'm glad to be here with all of you to celebrate this special day. Let me ask you a question. Did you think you would make it this far? I had no idea that would have made it all through that I have been to here today. If you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be here giving a commencement speech, I would not have believed you. But here I am and here are all of you. I know what you have done to make it here, the hard work, the determination, and all the sacrifices because I've done it too. Many people don't understand the ter determination needed to make it here. To some, when we're logged into class and on our computer, they may think, oh, there you are, playing on the computer with your friends. In reality, we are in the middle of a classroom discussion or deep in concentration listening to a lecture. Students are like ducks. Yeah, that's right, I said ducks. Why are we like ducks? Well, let me explain it to you. Like a duck above water, we look cool, calm, and, calm and collected. Sitting in front of the computer, looking like we just get it and we have all the answers to solve all life's deepest questions. But like the part of the duck under the water surface, those little legs are going 100 miles a minute. The same is going on with the student's brain. The wheels are burning up. So much is going on in our brains, learning all the new information, retaining information, and projecting it out into real life. We do all of this while working, while taking care of children or elderly parents. We give up our free time to focus and put forth our attention and energies to our goal to make it to this point in our lives. What we have, what we have exhibited, is determination. Along with determination, we have all been driven to push forward through any obstacle that have tried to slow us down, even when those obstacles are ourselves. There have been times and there will be more times in our lives where self-doubt will stand in our way, keeping us from getting through that next open door. But when those times of self-doubt come our way, keep this in mind. One of our greatest minds of our time, Albert Einstein, didn't speak until he was four years old, and over the course of his youth, he was told he would not amount to anything. Beethoven's music teacher told him he had no hope. And did you know that Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team? Abraham Lincoln lost eight presidential elections, but he never quit. Instead, he pushed forward and exhibited the drive and determination he needed to become the most inspirational president in U.S. history. He, along with each of these other examples, was like Coyus, the titan god of intelligence and farsightedness, whose inquisitive mind and desire to learn gave him the internet knowledge and understanding to see beyond the obvious. So when someone tells you that you can't, think of every great example that did succeed, and then I want you to look at them, smile, and say, watch me. And along with determination and drive, the last key element, at least for me, in getting to this point in my college career was family and friends. I want to thank all my family and friends for always being there for me. I am thankful for those who encourage me each day to do my best. I thank those who are closest to me, my sister, her kids, and my cousins who had to hear me complain about having to finish my homework every term. My family is so strong and close, I know they are proud of me because they let me know. My mom is the proudest of me, but the truth is I wouldn't be here without her. After my dad passed away when I was young, my mom did her best to raise me and my sister. I know it was hard because of all her sacrifice and her dedication to me. I'm here instead of all the other places I could have wound up. Because of my mom, I'm standing here with self-respect, determination to always do better, and I'm humbled by the happiness and love that fill my life. In conclusion, I want to say that as I think of all my fellow graduates, I see greatness. Greatness learned, greatness earned, and greatness achieved. I'm proud to be here with all of you on this wonderful occasion. Friends, I thank you for being awesome classmates, and to instructors, administrators, and staff, thank you for being our mentors and guiding us along on the path to greatness. Here's to class of 2020. Congratulations, we made it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020. I am so happy and it's an honor to be here with you today for I've had the pleasure of working and assisting many of you throughout your entire academic journey at Loras College. I am very proud of you. This has been such a trying year for all of us and in spite of it all, you are here. Look at you, graduating. Wow, what a feat. When I think of that, I think of a quote that comes to mind as I read. Life consists of many different stories. A person has not just one, 
but countless life stories that weave in between each other and together create exactly that specific life and that specific human being. That's you. Each of you have a story, a narrative that defines who you are. And that narrative was created through your past struggles, challenges, fears, and doubts. Through your present achievements, new knowledge, new skill sets learned, and through your future unknowns, successes, and triumphs. For that, you should be proud, because a new narrative has merged. As I think of you, I think of the day that you took and made that chance and took the decision to pursue a career, to change that narrative. And in doing so, you took the courage that needed to be taken so that you can pursue a career and take a leap of faith. And what a leap it was. It was a leap in you. A leap in you. You made the commitment to yourself. In doing so, you started to build confidence and you started to commit to that decision. And together, that confidence and commitment were the leading forces that led to you succeeding and changing your narrative. I congratulate you for that. As you continue your journey, I encourage you to never stop taking leaps of faith that will foster and define your narrative, your lifetime story. And in doing so, always remember to be kind to yourself for all those stories make up who you are meant to be. And continue succeeding, strive for success, and along the way, help those that are, may cross your path so that they too can shift their narrative. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. You are all amazing. Andromeda Fabella Nathaniel Keebler Jorge Orozco Tracy Terry Jeffrey Alexander Gerald Ershevich Harley Moore Crystal Sims Paula Boyd Roger Reyes Kayleen Alvarado Michael Bailey Christian Alexander Carvajal Ethan Inciso Audrey Jarvis Dominic Pai Flores Jonathan Sebastian Sosa Courtney Vanderdusen Maurice Barnes Althea Ray Boudreaux William Cover
Victor Encarnacion. Joel Miguel Escalona. Sam Gordon. Larry Green. Mark Hernandez. Cassie Jeffries. Lisa Kai. Andrew Kunburin. David E. Kogan. Alexander Lee. Dave Macias. Grant McCullough. Edgardo Miklat. Giovanni Leon Montejano. Mitchell Moore. Frankie Newton. Don Marie Ochoa. Christopher Rodriguez. Ava Sandoval. Michael Donovan Stark. Ryan Upchurch. Alexander Waller. Sebastian Z. Westfall. Karina Winman. Monica Avalo. Deborah Allen. Estefania Ayala. Deanna Bonilla. Michael Bowman. Julia Cash. Daryl D. Christian. Demond Cleveland. Tyrell Cleveland. Evangelina Collins. Angelica Daly. Fridolin Espiritu. Edwin Figueroa. Maria Leonos. Jamie Lewis. Francesca Malone. Clarine Martin. Gabriela Martinez. Riza Manaya. Geraldine Mowry. Cindy Perez. Jennifer Perez. Cheryl May Roxas. Ricardo Saldana. Kamiko Shiba. 
Stacy Ann Sprague. Isaiah Timmons. Kayla Tomerlin. Andres Topete. Jennifer Tuellis. Laura Vega. Denise Watkins. Roderick Augustin. Edgar Alayon. Ronald Castle. Jerome Collins. Miguel Flores. Richard M. Harris. Andrea Herrera. Jasmine Houston. Shannon Lopez. Eugenio Miranda. Alex Polivi. Mark Powell. Remigio Ricasas. Ada Rodriguez. Jeffrey Ross. Patricio Rubio Ferdinand Servia Edward Walls Jane Arguin Jadon Hayden. Jonah Perry. Jose Zazueta. By the virtue and authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees in the State of California, I hereby confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled. As a symbol of your transition from candidate for degree to holder of degree, please move your tassel from the right side of your motorboard to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you the class of 2020. On behalf of Loris College, I want to thank you for joining us today in celebrating this tremendous achievement of our students. I want to thank the faculty and staff for all their hard work in making this event a success. This brings our commencement to a close. Thank you very much. Hi class of 2020, Rebecca Sandoval here, Medical Billing and Coding Director. I would like to congratulate all of you for finishing your degree, especially during this tough time that we are all experiencing right now. I know that it has been tough for all of us, but you sat there in front of your computer and you persevered and you finished it. So congratulations. I am so proud of every single one of you. Remember that the sky is the limit. From this point on, get that diploma, hang it on the wall, share it with your friends, do whatever you need to do, show it with your children, let them know that whatever you put your mind to, you can be successful at. Please go out and have a wonderful time with your family and your friends and your loved ones. Please be safe. Please remember to be kind to one another and God be with you all. 
On behalf of Loras College Departments for Digital Arts and Computer Animation and Web Design Development, we want to personally congratulate you all on a job well done. Remember, your hard work and dedication to succeed got you here, and it's a reason to celebrate. From everyone in the department, we wish you a warm farewell and the best of luck in future endeavors. Congratulations, we are all very proud of you. Well, here we are, our students. Graduation time. Congratulations to each and every single one of you. I know it's been a long, hard journey. Many hours in lecture, many sleepless nights, many painful configurations of all those virtual machines and practice labs, but you've made it. You graduated. And for that is a amazing accomplishment for everybody in here. You should feel proud of what you've done. As this chapter closes and another chapter opens up, your lives are gonna be filled with all kinds of wonderful, exciting things as you enter into this next chapter. So from myself and all the instructors here at the IT department, we would like to say congratulations to all you guys. Good luck, have fun, and enjoy life. Hello graduating class, I'm Wendy Flores, Director of the Business Program. On behalf of the Business Department, we would like to extend our congratulations on your great accomplishment and dedication on this long journey. Through the tough times of 2020, you have persevered and know that all of us here at Loris College are very proud of your success. It is an honor to celebrate you today as you reach the end of this journey only to start the next chapter of your life. Again, congratulations on graduating. Your hard work has paid off. So be proud and celebrate. Wishing you all the best in your future. Congratulations for your great achievement. Uh, we just want to let you know here at Career Services that we are here to help you at any point in your future. You're a part of the Morris family and we want you to know that we are always here to help you whenever you need it. Congratulations, have a great year. Hi everyone, I'm so excited you're graduating. Oh my gosh, I wish we could all be there together to congratulate you in person and wish you well. I think about you guys and the adventure ahead of you. I'm so excited for you. Think about it. When I look back over the past two years and think about all your hard work and the sacrifices that you made and look where it led you, here we are. It's time to get out there and you're gonna do it. I'm so proud of you. Hey, it's, it's here, you did it. I'm so proud of each of you. You've all had to overcome so many obstacles just in normal life, but this year especially, persevered through it all, took things term by term and worked hard and just hung in there and did everything you needed to do to make this day happen. So again, can't be more proud of you. I'm so excited for each of you. Congratulations, Loris College graduate. Yay!